Right now, there's a resurgence of fans who are into LEGO Castle. With the release of Lion Knight's Castle and Medieval Town Square, fans have enjoyed some fantastic castle sets. But with the release of the D&D CMF figures, and no new rumors of future castle or fantasy sets, fans don't know what to expect in the future. With that being said, here's the list of castle sets I think LEGO needs to make. Now, something I will say is I don't think all these new sets need to be remakes. Honestly, I think they should just make a bunch of sets and have fun with them, and not worry about trying to remake make exact sets from the past. That doesn't mean they need to ignore previous castle sets. In fact, I think they should pull inspiration from past sets. A set that would give LEGO many opportunities is a tournament set. No matter how they do it, I'd like certain minifigures to appear. First off, it should have a Black Falcon and a Lion Knight with their horse bartings. I would also love them to add a Black Knight and a new faction, both with brand new horse bartings. This faction could be one of the ones from the LEGO Ideas vote. If they really wanted to do something special, they could add an updated tournament knight with a brand new Raven horse bartings. When it comes down to it, I just want four factions instead of the usual two we get with these kinds of sets because I want it to be a real tournament. I would also want some royalty, whether that's some nobles or new queen and king minifigures. Maybe create a noble for like the black knights or black falcons. To fill out the rest of the minifigures, I'd either want squires for each of the factions or peasants to fill out the stands. For the set itself, there are a couple ways they can make it. The first way the set could be done is in the style of Kingdom's Joust. This set is widely popular and definitely on many people's top 10 castle sets list. A new set like this in the $200 price range would be amazing. Another way they could do a tournament is by making it a line of sets. I would still want the four different factions in this line, but there's a good chance it could add even more factions. The largest set of the wave would be the Joust, and it would have a place for royalty and nobles to sit, plus two different factions with tents in their colors, on top of some other builds. Then there would be another set that's just like knights dueling with swords. Maybe even another one that's just like an archery competition. This would be a fun way to bring in the wolf pack enforcement. There are definitely more competitions that could be featured in other sets, and some vendors spread throughout them. Maybe even have one of the sets feature a blacksmith's tent who is fixing armor. A great example of a good tournament set was made by Lux Bricks. It just has a bit of everything to make a great joust. My personal favorite part is the tent for the Lion Knight Champion. I was able to build this mock thanks to Mockboxing, the sponsor of this video. If you want to buy mocks just like how you would get a Lego set, Mockboxing is perfect for you. My favorite part is any mock you buy from them comes with real genuine Lego bricks. Their sets even come with brand new parts unless it's no longer in production. I was even surprised how many extra parts came with each set. What I like about Mockboxing is they work directly with Lego fans to sell their mocks. You can even upload your own mock to receive commission on any sales. There is so much more they can do when it comes to mocks, including providing parts for any rebrand roll mock or XML parts list. Use my code BRICKINGUP or click on the link down below to save 10% off your order. A set I'd absolutely love to see from LEGO is an ambush set. King's Carriage Ambush from LEGO Kingdoms is a perfect example of what they could do. There are multiple ways this set could be made, but it should be called Wolfpack Ambush. The set would contain some sort of cart which could either be a prison cart or a noble's carriage. It would come with a couple of Lion Knight guards. With them could be some sort of member of royalty such as a new king. Or reuse that new tax collector's torso and make it a tax collector's cart filled with taxes he has collected. It would also come with a couple of trees, one of which would have a play feature where it could fall down. Ambushing the cart would be a couple of new Wolfpack Renegades. This would be a great way to bring back the torsos and a very on-brand set for them. I would want this set to be about $50 or cheaper. This one is a no-brainer and definitely something that fans have been asking for, but battle packs. Even a set like 2013's Forced Ambush would be amazing. Yes, you can order figure parts on PAP, but this would make army building more accessible to kids and people who don't know about PAP. I would want this to be about a $15 set with either four knights of the same fat faction or two different factions. I would love it to be like the new Mandalorian battle pack. What I love about this battle pack is the fact that the side build is great for pieces to use in landscapes for mocks. Also, you can connect multiple of them to each other. Even though a set like Prison Carriage Rescue would be great as the battle pack, I think I'd prefer the side build to be like a tree, or a section of wall that could be connected together if you get multiple. This set could be a way to introduce some new torso styles for the different factions, and could even be used to remake the classic cross stacks torso from the OG Lion Knights. With the battle packs, I'd really like to see some new siege weapon sets. Over the years, we've gotten many different siege weapons, but not as much recently. My first choice would be to remake Knight's Kingdom 1 Bull Attack. This would be a great way to bring back Cedric the Bull and the Bull Faction. We have gotten many catapults throughout the years, but I'd love to see LEGO do a new siege tower, a battering ram, 
and maybe even a trebuchet. And I'm talking a proper battering ram, not one that's connected to a bottom of a siege tower. One with a roof that even has areas to place minifigures to push it. The idea for the next set came from when I was making my 2013 castle video. Gatehouse Raid was a $30 set from the 2013 castle line. We have gotten other sets like this with Escape from Dragon's Prison or Knight Stronghold. A set like this in the under $50 price range is important because it allows people with not a lot of money to be able to get a castle-like structure. Honestly, it doesn't even need to be a gate. It could just be a watchtower or some other small castle structure. I do like the modular style of Gatehouse Raid, so if they made a set like that, I'd want them to try to add that in. For the figures, you could do some Lion Knights as the defenders, and maybe some Dragon Masters sieging it. Or if they brought back the Black Knights, they could use them as the bad guys. My personal choice, though, is making the Fright Knights attack it. In 2024, we got the Medieval Town Square, which is a fantastic set that goes great with the castle. I think some fantastic future castle sets they could do is just make expansions to the village. It would be great to get more buildings with a variety of shops and figures that could build out the village. I would even take a $30 set that's a small structure that just adds more life to the village. Maybe even a new small jester set to entertain your villagers. Medieval sets I'm really surprised LEGO hasn't done yet are farm sets. We did get Mill Village Raid and some farm animals here and there. We have also gotten some city farm sets. But I definitely think LEGO could do either one giant medieval farm set or a full wave that has different size sets that go together. This set could be a fun way to get some new animals like maybe a black sheep or a new style of cow or even a turkey. We could get a farmhouse, barn, and a water mill. Before we move on to the final set I'd like LEGO to do, if you've enjoyed this video and want more castle content, hit that subscribe button. Also, let me know what castle sets you would like LEGO to make. Finally, a very obvious one LEGO needs to make is a CMF wave dedicated to LEGO Castle. CMF Series 26 was a full wave dedicated to space minifigures. After seeing that, castle fans are craving a similar one, but in a castle style. We did get a D&D series, which was amazing, but I want one dedicated to original LEGO Castle themes. Now, many people have already said what they would like to see, but this is what I would like to see personally. First off, I want them to do a bunch of named characters from past castle themes. That way, we can get some of these old characters in high detail, just like we got with Basil. It's also a great way to bring back some old factions, again, just like they did with the Vampire Knight for Fright Nights. I think this should be at least be a half or a quarter of the wave. I have six personal picks. My first is Willow the Witch from Fright Nights. It would be awesome to have an updated duo of Willow and Basil. To fight them, I would love to see a new King Richard from Royal Knights. This would be a fun tie-in to Medieval Town Square since we did get an image of him there, but it would also be a great way to bring back the Royal Knights. Knights Kingdom 1 has a few great named characters, but I have two that really stick out for me. The first is Princess Storm. Now, we don't need a remake of another Lion faction, but this character is very iconic to those who grew up on Knights Kingdom 1. However, if I had to get a figure from Knights Kingdom 1, I'd love to get a remake of Cedric the Bull. I really want to see the Bull faction brought back. Also, he is such an awesome character. Maybe they could even design a new bull helmet for him. Knights Kingdom 2 also had many characters that could be remade. I definitely would love to see how LEGO would interpret the four main characters nowadays with updated parts and more detailed printing. But let's be honest, bad guys are always cooler, so I would love a remake of Vladek. I'd want to see a brand new helmet mold for him and a new printed chest piece. Then underneath the chest plate is a printed scorpion torso and he would wield a scorpion shield. That way you can make shadow knights out of him. For the rest of the figures, I want LEGO to have fun with them. Give us one or two new factions, a couple new peasants, and maybe a couple fantasy figures. I would definitely love it if they did another elf from Elflands, or did a new goblin or orc-like figure. I definitely don't think the entire wave needs to be throwback figures, but at least do four like the Space Series did. Let's be honest though, no matter what they would put into a castle CMF wave, we would buy them all. At this point, they just need to make it. Overall, if LEGO is going to make new castle sets, they need to make sets that are cheaper than $100 to make this beloved theme available to fans. I definitely can't wait though to see what LEGO does for the future of this theme.